What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again and today is another sort of festive-ish um, review. We're going to try the Aldi Pigs in Blankets. So these, now you have to let me know if you've seen anywhere as cheap as the Aldi ones. These are the cheapest ones I can see. 12 for one ninety nine. That's apart from making them yourself, of course. 12 for one ninety nine. So, I thought it said 1st of November 2022 then. I thought, what? I've only been down today and got them. 2023. So, is there anywhere cheaper to get pigs in blankets than Aldi? Because 12 for one ninety nine is, or from what I have seen, the cheapest around. Now, I do have a, I'm taking a little issue with Aldi now. This is going to be the last festive product I review from Aldi. Probably because I've done them all, but also because they're, they're just making random stuff festive. I also picked up a pot of mashed potato, which apparently is now festive. It's just mashed potato. And also, some Yorkshire puddings, which apparently are now festive. So... I have some sort of like little Christmas tapas festive thing here with uh, mash, Yorkshire puddings and pigs in blankets and a bit of gravy. But stop making unfestive items festive. I need to be able to spot the festive items so I can try them what I hadn't tried before. So that being said, it's about the pigs in blankets really this review. Because the girls are going to have that really. But this review is about the pigs in blankets so let's see if these are tasty because if they're not what's better and is it worth paying more to get better quality products that's the big question so let's take a look at this pigs in blankets box so here is the box it is let's party so it's like kind of the similar it's in the same part as the indian food one the range that i did the review of earlier in the week that is a traffic light system there per two pigs in blankets 85 calories and i don't know about you <laughs> but that's not good reading that is it three red i don't know about you but i could probably eat all 12 of these of course it's 35 minutes at 190. they was frozen i have defrosted them however it says cook from frozen but i didn't have no room in my freezer so they had to sit in the fridge for a little while. So they're not properly defrosted, but 57% pork in the pork sausage. You've got wheat and metabisulfite as the allergies. The bacon is 85% pork. So that is the full nutritional information. If you know about that stuff, I do not. And yeah, so 30 to 35 minutes, but they have been in the fridge for a few hours. Well, I've been at work. I did go get these this morning. So, there they are. So we'll get them in the uh, in the oven. And I'll bring you back when they're done. So, these are just about ready now. Look at that. Wow. Just about five more minutes. We get these uh, Yorkshire puddings on this tray. Look at these. Should be nice, right? back in for five minutes while I uh, microwave this festive apparently mashed potato okay so these are done now look at that look at them pigs in blankets the mashed potato was in the microwave as you can hear the Yorkshire's are done quick five minutes in there from defrost and this is the pigs in blankets this is what I'm trying there you go that's the mash so I'm going to get this plated up for the girls and I'll take a few pigs in blankets for myself.
So I have plated it up for the girls, as you saw there, it looks fantastic. However, this review is not about all that festive stuff that's not festive, it's just about these pigs in blankets. Now, 12 for 199, like I said. So I have been left with two pigs in blankets. So I will give these a go. They do look good, to be honest. Look at that. Proper, like, nice candied bacon sort of around the edges. So, give them a go. Inside the sausage there. Very nice. They're not as salty as I'd expect, to be honest. I thought they were going to be very, very salty with the bacon. But the bacon is more like cured. It's, it's a bit tougher. However, you know what? You can't beat pigs in blankets, can you? Like I said earlier, I could probably sit and eat all them 12 if I, if I uh, wasn't doing that for the girls. Easily. Not bad. 57% pork. The sausages probably could be better. But, like I said, these... are the cheapest on the market at the moment. And they do the job. For me... I'd buy these because obviously Aldi's the local, most local supermarket to us. These are nice. My missus is mad for pigs in blankets. Um, yeah, these are they, these these do the job. They, they does exactly what it says on the tin. I've said that a few times, but that's what it is. It's a pig in blanket. It's basic. It's not overly flavorful. It's it's just fine. If you're bad in it from elsewhere that is really quality, whether they be luxury, I mean to pay twice as much, let me know and I'll see if I can get them in before Christmas and try them. What's the best pig in blanket and where from? Bang that in the comments for me right now and then I will try and get to the most, the most popular one. This is the cheapest. Or if you've seen them anywhere cheaper, like I said earlier, 199 for 12, we have not seen them anywhere cheaper than this. So anywhere cheaper, let me know and I'll try the cheaper ones as well. That is another festive review. I've just got a message for Aldi. Stop making normal products festive. Yorkshire puddings and mashed potato are every Sunday, not festive, not every year. So, they're not festive products. Come on. That's it for Aldi. No more Aldi festive products. I've got something coming next week, which I think you're all going to be very excited about. Um, I can't give too much away just yet. But, it's going to be a, a week-long series. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. And it's, it's an idea from one of you guys. I couldn't find the comment, but it is an idea from somebody out there. So if you've commented and given me an idea about what to do over a course of a week, this is for you, or next week's for you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll catch you tomorrow. Did somebody say just Special. Oh, I wouldn't buy that again. <laughs>